to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me as it's been so highly requested ever since I've done my last one. Like, well, actually, it was like, mm, I think it was like forever ago now. I think the last get ready with me I done was on New Year's Eve. That was such a long time ago. But ever since then, you guys have been requesting for me to do another. And as the like festival season is coming up and I've got so many festivals to attend, I thought why not do a get ready with me, like a festival kind of look because yeah. And I need to practice my makeup look. I'm not actually going anywhere today, but I thought like I would practice my hair, practice my makeup, just so when I go, I'm like fully prepared and I know exactly what I want to look like I guess. So like for my hair I'm just going to quickly run through. I pretty much just got like a half up half down. Fun. These are like my favourite things ever because firstly it gets all the hair like out of your face so it's so like it feels so nice. But then your hair's still down so you don't look like particularly like bald like scraped back. And then I've just put like a few like plaits and stuff through the hair as well. I'm pretty sure everyone could do a plait. So yeah this is pretty much what I've done with my hair. I'm going to run through today everything that I'm going to be doing with my makeup and I've also got like glitter and stuff that I want to do as well so like it's pretty exciting if you guys enjoy this video then please smash a like and also subscribe down below if you guys haven't already and without further ado let's get into the video so for my primer I'm going to be using the illuminating makeup primer by new look the reason I chose to use this one is because for vessels I love like wearing glitter and like love like a lot of highlight and I feel like it's an excuse to wear so much highlight so I I thought this primer would be great as obviously it's illuminating so it kind of gives me that extra shine under my foundation. Also it's a pretty good primer as well because it does make your makeup last quite long and also it feels like moisturising on your face and also another bonus it's pretty affordable so I just thought a win-win. My face I look like a shining goddess right now. I look so shiny and I do just want to say I I don't know what it is, I feel like I say this in every single makeup video, but whenever I go to film a makeup video, my skin decides to break out. I don't know why, and I woke up this morning, I was like, why the day that I'm filming a get ready with me does my skin have to look like this? So please excuse it. But for foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfection in foundation. This is one of my favorites, and I've been using this pretty much every single day recently, so I'm just gonna go in and do my normal foundation routine. So to blend this in, I'm gonna be using my Beauty Blender, and by the way, this is damp, because I feel like every single time I do a makeup tutorial with my Beauty Blender, people are like, you know what, Seth, you should damp it. And I'm like, I do, I just always forget to tell you that I've damped it, but it is damp. Okay, so I think that's pretty much my foundation blended. I just want to make sure it's blended into my neck because as I said, my neck is kind of a different colour to my face at the moment. So I just want to make sure that it's completely blended, which I think it is. And as you can see, comparing to what I looked like before I put my foundation on, this is a very high coverage foundation. It covers all of my spots. Well, there's still a couple showing, but it pretty much covers majority of them, so hence why I love it. And this is in the shade 14 Vanilla. It's great. Now I'm gonna go on with concealer to highlight my face, and I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It's quite thick, but it's so like creamy that it's easy to blend. I'm gonna be applying this where I always do, which is two triangles underneath my eye. This is like the most uneven triangles of my entire life. We're just gonna, we're gonna make do with what we got. So on the bridge of my nose and then on the tip of my nose, a little bit above my cupid's bow and then some on my chin as well. As you can see, we're gonna, we got a lot of chin spots at the moment. I'm gonna let this like soak into my skin for like around like two minutes. But I wanna, I basically tweeted on Twitter saying, if there's any questions and stuff that you guys wanna ask me for this video, then ask away. So I'm gonna be answering some questions and stuff. Majority of the questions are about the book that I'm bringing out, which is Saffron Barker versus Real Life, which I am so flipping excited for. If you didn't know already, I'm bringing out a book. I did like give like an announcement video on it. So if you haven't seen that, then I will link that down below. I am so flipping excited because I love what the book is about. And if you watch the announcement video, then you will understand what the book is about. Currently, as I'm filming this, there are still some signed copies left. I am actually gonna be doing a book tour and I basically asked in that video as well for you guys to let me know where you want me to come and visit. So again, same thing. I'm still undecided where I should go, but I want to go 
up and down UK like I want to go everywhere like England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales like everywhere I can go I want to visit by the way how good does this look? it just looks like fresh I feel like concealer just makes all the difference when highlighting your face and then when you contour it gives that extra like definition because you obviously have the highlighted point and then you know your jawline looks like you know you could cut something with it so to contour my face I'm gonna be using the Clinique chubby stick I've gone back to this this bad boy because this is literally like the easiest thing to use if you're just starting out makeup then this is one I would definitely recommend to try because look how easy it is for like when I'm talking I just don't really like focus very well I just like whack it all on I'm super excited for all the festivals I'm gonna be attending though I'm going to wildlife for one of the days it's like a weekend festival but I'm only gonna be there for one day oh one of my friends is facetiming me Okay, I'll have to hang up and bring it back later. Wait, Jazz, please. Like, when somebody brings my phone, it brings up my Mac and my laptop. My Mac is on silent, but my, like, actual MacBook is going to ring for ages now. Anyway, carrying on from what I was saying. So, it's like a weekend festival, but I'm only going for one day because I'm going to Summertime Ball the other day. I'm, I think Summertime Ball is on the Saturday. So I think I'm going to wildlife on the Sunday. So that is going to be like such a busy weekend. I can't remember what other festivals I'm attending. Next year I'm definitely attending Coachella because Coachella looks like the best fun ever. And I do love a festival a lot. And it just looks like my kind of like vibe and everybody like with so much glitter and everybody's like so glammed up. and. Yeah, I feel like it's very me, so next year I would definitely attend that. Nearly blended it all in, I'm just going to blend in my forehead now. But look, you can see how easy it is to blend this stuff. Like it just blends so nicely and it's such like a warm kind of bronzer, like it's not too harsh. And I always say this, but again, it's, it's just like, it's one of those bronzers that's just so, so buildable. Like if you wanted it to really like to find your cheekbones or your jawline, then you could easily do that. Um, but it's just one of those things that's just like so beautiful and it will never kind of get cakey. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier setting powder. This is the best setting powder I've ever, ever used. And the thing is, I kind of hate to use it in my video because how expensive it is. But I've had this for probably about eight months now and it's pretty much full to the brim. It lasts such a long time and it's one of those things that really is worth the money. Like, I'm so glad I spent money on this. It is honestly amazing again I'm literally just using my beauty blender I'm just like dabbing it on the powder and then I'm just gonna be applying this everywhere that I applied my concealer so it look you can just see like under my eye oh my goodness sorry I like jumped I thought I nearly spilled it now I've applied my setting powder I'm gonna let it like bake on my face for around 10 to 15 minutes I'm just gonna answer a few questions one being, would you ever consider getting a tattoo? If so, what would it be and why? I do actually want tattoos when I'm older. I want kind of like a few, but honestly at this point I have no idea what I want and I really don't see the point of getting a tattoo if you don't know what you want because it's gonna be stuck there for the rest of your life. So if you're just gonna get a tattoo for the sake of it, please don't, please. It kind of like, it makes me cringe because I just think like, you could hate that because like that has no meaning to you. Or if it's something really simple, like, I don't know, I know kind of like everybody has it, but I love the simple like, outline little heart you know that everybody has like on their foot or like on the back of their neck I don't know I think that'd be pretty cute I would want one probably on my foot I want one like on my middle finger like going through here and it does actually rub off like after I don't know I think it's like 10 years or so and I'm just gonna buff out my powder that's kind of like sat to bake on my face because it's been about 10-ish minutes right now. Ooh, for blusher. I'm not like a huge, huge fan of blusher, but when it comes to festivals, I'm like, yes, love a bit of blush because it just gives like a pop of color to your face. This one I'm obsessing over recently, and this is Benefit's new one. It's kind of like a rosy, kind of like pale pink, but it has like goldy bits in it. I can't work out what the smell is, but it smells so good and I literally love it like when you open the pan you can immediately smell it for highlight I'm going to be using the Becca Moonstone highlighter just because this is one of my favorite highlighters ever out of all of Becca's highlighters that I've tried this one's definitely my favorite because the other ones are more kind of like 
a golden kind of shimmer and when I have like spray tans and like fake tan and when I'm just tan in general it doesn't really show up so well so a whiter kind of shimmer shows up better for me I like to apply it on the end of my nose and then kind of like build it up you know to the bridge of my nose as you can see and then I will apply some on my chin on my cupid's bow definitely this makes all the difference and then of course i'm going to be applying some on the top of my cheekbone as well because it looks so pretty it definitely needs to be blended in as you can see i've applied the highlight to my face i might have decided whether to do the glitter now or to do my eyeshadow and then do the glitter afterwards i don't know what to do i feel like it would be more practical to do my eyeshadow first but i really want to get onto the glitter so i think i might have to do the glitter first this is the glitter that i'm going to be using and this is go get glitter this is just one that i got given to when i attended like an event but this glitter is honestly so so pretty so i've chosen the silver glitter today i've also got glitter glue this is one by Too faced it is pretty good but to be honest i think you could definitely get better glitter glues but this is just one that I've kind of always had and has been in my cupboard so I'm gonna use it anyway so what I'm gonna do is apply some to my hand but I'm just gonna be applying the glue to the brush and then applying the glue to my face so pretty much everywhere that I put the highlight I will be applying the glitter so kind of just like down my face I'm just gonna be brushing on the glue which looks very odd right now but the good thing is you can see that the glue shows up so therefore you know exactly where you're going to be applying the glitter uh, but I want to kind of build it up to my forehead a little bit and have it just across here so now I've applied the glue I'm just going to be dipping 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 now I'm just going to be um, dipping my brush into my glitter pot and then yeah just applying it everywhere that I put the glue it's so easy and look how effective it looks it already looks so good oh my god i actually flipping love this stuff god i love this so much i think i might have to apply it to both sides of my face i don't know is that too much i don't know i love this so much i think i am just gonna leave it to just the one side of my face but as you can see it looks so pretty so effective so easy and i felt like i had to do the glitter first because I don't know it was just looking at me like it was just sitting there and I was thinking hmm, I want to do it so I did so for eyes I think I'm going to be using my Morphe 350 palette I haven't used this in the longest time but it has some such beautiful shades I love like the orangey and ready toned shadows here is more up close so as you can see right now I'm just blending this everywhere on my eyelid Oh, it's actually such a pretty orange. I didn't realize how like shimmery it would look, but it has a lot of shimmer in it and it actually looks so pretty. Just the tones in it, I just think makes blue eyes especially, well and green, I just think it makes it look so effective. So I've always kind of wanted to wear orange and I never really have, because i would never really thought I had like a nice orange that I could use. But this palette has proved me wrong and I really like this. So as you can see, that was so easy. I just put it everywhere on my eyelid and underneath my eye. And yeah, it's just overall such a pretty orange. I'm now gonna go with like this kind of like darkish orange in the corner. It's very obvious. It's like the brightest color in the palette. I'm gonna use the same brush as well just because I'm being, I feel like being lazy today. Uh, and I'm just gonna put this in the crease of my lid and kind of just like blend it out just so it gives it a little bit more of definition and just makes it look a little bit more like wow oh wow i love this color Like I did with the lighter orange, I'm gonna kind of do the same thing and just apply it underneath my eye. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna do the outside of my eye with the darker orange. There you go, you can kind of see like the dark orange and then it kind of like fades into the lighter orange, which again, I think looks pretty effective. Now I'm actually just gonna apply with the same palette again, a really pretty like shimmery white gold on the bottom, like the base of my lid. It's this one here. I'm now going to go in with the brush that I used originally in the first place and I'm going to be using the same like shiny gold shimmer and just applying it in the corner of my eye which always looks so good. Oh god, what is that? Is that sleep? Oh, I think that is and I can't get it off. Ew, I haven't had sleep in so long. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying this in the corner 
of my eye and discovering I have so much sleep. While we're up close, we might as well attempt a winged eyeliner. And I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Liquid London Liner. Gonna be going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but this is the waterproof one because, as I said, you do not want, especially if you live in England, and like it rains a lot, you do not want your makeup going everywhere and you don't want, you'd like to get wet and you know, your mascara to be dripping down the face. So, I'm gonna be using a waterproof mascara. This is actually the only waterproof mascara I own, hence why I chose it, but it is a pretty good mascara. So here is my mascara done. I'm gonna be clearing up the excess. It's like, you know, there's like a little bit like up here and like underneath my eye. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that. Then I'm also gonna be applying these backstage lashes. These are the Chelsea lashes. So I'm gonna stick those on, do my eyebrows, and then come back to you guys. See, so yeah, I've put on my eyelashes and I've done my eyebrows, so I look a lot better now. Uh, but that was like, I thought like that would be so boring to just like do on camera. So I've just quickly done that off camera. So now the final thing I've got to do is my lips. So I'm going to be applying this MAC Viva Glam. This is in the shade 3. Basically I just want like a nude kind of matte colour. But I want my lips to look outlined. So I'm just going to apply this all over as it's kind of like a darkish kind of red. Oh my goodness it looks so weird with just like the bottom done. And like not much on the top. <laughs> Now I know it looks so purple right now, but once you do this combination, it looks really good. So this is a velvet lip cream from, I'm pretty sure this is from New Look. Like look, it looks so white and weird like this. But, once you kind of, you blend it in, you kind of pat it down. This is actually one of my favourite lip combos of all time. I wear this so much. Sometimes I just like apply a gloss over the top if I don't want it to be matte. But it looks so good. So the final thing, and this is actually perfect. So I've seen kind of like on Instagram and stuff, and I don't know what this is called. So laugh at me or whatever. I don't know what to call it, but people have like this gold or silver like shimmery line kind of like going down their lips. And it looks like so like Tumblr and cool. And I see everybody on Instagram doing it. So I thought I wanted to create my own. But I have these Urban Decay Liquid Moonlight Dust Shadows. Kind of like a felt tip applier. So it's really easy to apply. So I thought this would be perfect for it. So why not give it a go? So I'm just going to go down the middle of my lips. And this colour really matches my lip colour as well. So I don't know if you can see, but this is so simple but it looks so good. The only thing I would say is I kind of wish I used a different colour just because it doesn't show up too well on my lips. I think a silver would look so good and I'm kind of debating whether to put the glitter on top of this line. Do you know what? I'm actually just going to give it a Okay, whoa, this looks so cool. I especially love the lips so flipping much. I think it looks so cool overall and I definitely will be wearing this to my next festival. I'm kind of sad though, like I wish I was actually going to a festival right now because I love my hair and makeup so much so I'm kind of gutted but I'm sure I will spam you guys with a lot of pictures over on my social media <clears throat> so you should follow it because... But keeping it real guys, here is the end of the makeup look and I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please smash a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Let me know your opinions on this makeup look and if you recreate this look, then also please let me know. I felt like this was such a long video because I just kept chatting and chatting and chatting, but overall, this makeup look, I honestly could have done in about the space of 15 minutes. And as I said, I'm going to be linking all the products that I actually use it down below in the description box. So be sure to go and check those out as well. But yeah, also, before I end this video, let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see or any similar to to this as well but yeah i hope you guys any festival or concert that you guys are attending i hope you all have so much fun and make the most out of it and yeah that's pretty much it from me and hopefully i'll see you guys very very soon Mwah. bye
пройти И если все еще дышишь, то включи заново Чтобы звучало более пышно Пока адреналин не выжмет из тебя Вышку пока децибелы не станут Прожигать лампочки вспышками Если лимиты превышены, то один эффект Иди эффектом, фейф, лови эффект Кипит и так наш диалект способен поломать Твои свилины без стиля, без усилий Мы лишь вес на любом носителе И мы всего лишь в пятый кадр твоего слуха Гипнотизируем, ведь раз подчиняется звукам И это мания, подобно настоящей магии Что разрывает от начала до конца твое сознание Oh, my God. 